Hello my lovelies, it's Susanna and today I want to show you this little problem here. The result is 4. Okay, let's just calculate this. 25 minus 5 divided by 5. Let's see what this is all about. We have to take care of the order of operations here. So division before subtraction. There is also a saying in Germany, if you translate it word by word, it would say points before lines. So our multiplication and our division symbol look like this. So we do the points before we do the lines. It doesn't really work with these symbols here. So if you use this as a division symbol and some people use this as a multiplication symbol, then points before lines is not the best to remember. But in Germany, all of this works. But well, we know division before subtraction. So we have to calculate this here first. So we have our 25 minus and 5 divided by 5 just equals 1. And then we have 25 minus 1, which is 24. So what is this about? The result is 4. No, it's not. The result is 24. This is the correct way to do it. So what's the joke in all of this? I mean, some people might forget about the order of operation rule. So let's see what happens if we just ignore that and just calculate everything from left to the right. So we have 25 minus 5 first, which equals 20. And then we divide it by 5. This is a wrong way to do it. So this is not correct. But 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Yeah, that is what they say, but this is wrong. So don't do not do this. This is just wrong. So what do they want from us here? The result is 4. Could also mean the result is 4 factorial. This exclamation mark here in math means something. So if you have 5 exclamation mark in math, math in a math context, this is 5 factorial. And this means that you start at the 5 and you multiply downwards. So 5 times 4 times two, 3 times 2 times 1. And if you calculate this, you get a result of 120. So let's see what 4 factorial would be in our case then. We start at the 4 and we multiply downwards times 3 times 2 times 1. So 4 times 3 equals 12 times 2 equals 24 times 1 still equals 24. Oh, this is correct what they say here. The result is 4 factorial. So it depends on how you read it. Some people might say that you have to do a period here at the end. Well, otherwise the joke would, wouldn't have been that nice. So uh, factorial is a nice thing to use. And if you've never uh, heard of it, then factorial is used in combinatorics a lot. So for example, if you want to arrange three people in a row and want to know how many possibilities do I have to arrange these three people, then you can use the factorial to calculate this. So before using the factorial, let's just see how many ways we have. So we have one, two, three people like this, or we leave the first here and we switch these two, or we take the second guy first and have the other two here, or we leave this guy here and switch these two. And the same with the third person, we have our one and two here, or we switch these two. These are all our possibilities. We have six ways to do this. And it would have been way faster to just use the factorial to calculate this six here because you have three people. So it's three factorial. Three factorial is three times two times one, which equals the six here. So if you have larger groups of people, just use factorial to find your number. And by the way, zero factorial is not zero, but it is one. So if you think about it, if you have zero people in a row, so no one is there, then you have one possibility to do nothing. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you a wonderful day and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care.